Hi guys. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not there um, these two days because I am attending my aunt's funeral, but I will be back on Wednesday. I wanted to give you an introduction to acting and acting techniques. Um, this one, um, this little video that you're going to be watching is going to give you a background of some of the major acting techniques that you can find in the theater. So let's get started by taking a look at acting and acting techniques. All right. So the one person that we've talked about so far who developed acting method acting was Konstantin Stanislavski. If you remember him from the history unit that Stanislavski was this like person who developed this concept of method acting using inner motivation and inner feelings, um, the inside coming outside to represent a character on the stage. Um, but he wasn't alone. There were many, many other people who came after Stanislavski who either disagreed with what he had to say um, or altered what he had to say about how to act. So Stanislavski believed that you had to channel something inside of you to connect to a character um, and that you had to kind of immerse yourself into the character and feel what the character felt. Um, so we're going to take a look at some of the, these other people, Lee Strasberg, Stella Adler, um, Sanford Meisner, Uta Hagen, and Viola Spolin, um, and kind of learn a little bit about their acting techniques. So the first is Lee Strasberg. So unlike Konstantin Stanislavski, who is first just someone working for the Russian Electric Company and then worked as a director, but never an actor himself, Lee Strasberg himself was an actor. Um, and his method was inspired by Stanislavski. So his idea that was that the actor needed to increase their creation to the actors, the characters, emotional experiences by staging some of the, the, the things that they were going through in their own lives. So for example, um, if you were playing the role of a prisoner, you would ask if you could go to the like county jail and spend a night in the jail so you could experience what it would be like as a prisoner. And then you would bring that experience into your practice. Um, there are tons of people who have used Strasbourg's techniques. Um, some of the most legendary actors, as you can see right here, who kind of like try to do this. If they're going to take on a role as a teacher, then they try to go into a school somewhere and see what it's like to be a teacher. So they experience things in their own lives. That's what Strasberg kind of had to, to say. Stella Adler, on the other hand, um, is the was the only American actor to study with Stanislavski. So she, her idea behind acting built on the work of Stanislavski and Lee Strasberg. So he, she believed that it you needed imagination in addition to emotional recall. So instead of believing that you had to like channel some sort of inner emotion um, of an experience that you had gone to similar to the characters or that you needed to create an experience like Strasbourg had to say, she was more on the, long, on the lines of using your imagination to feel what the character was feeling. And so she really connected into that imagination. Um, so you can notice here that there are lots of other people who are Stella Adler, like connecting with emotional recall and imagination in order to portray a character in the stage. Then there's Sanford Meisner. Sanford Meisner probably has the most unconventional approach to acting. Um, and that is that you should not think you should work with your feelings, basically. So what he did is that you were supposed to live as truthfully as possible under the circumstances provided to you by the script. So you didn't create anything. You only looked at the script. So the most famous thing that he has created is this repetition exercise where two actors sit across from each other and respond in the moment with a repeated phrase that breaks over and over and over again until they actually feel something. If we take a look at the next slide, you'll see what this repetition game is about. So you would, there's three rules for the repetition. Number one, you tell the truth. 
So the first person speaking, if you take a look off to the side, will look at the person across from them and they will lead the action. So if you look at someone and you think that they are tired, um, you would say you are tired. And then the character, the person sitting across from you would repeat that, I'm tired. And you would say it again and again and again until it makes you focus on what that meaning is and um, bring something new to the feeling. So usually you're talking about some sort of emotion, like being unsure or nervous or making a mistake or embarrassed um, to kind of influence their behavior. We're gonna try the Meisner repetition game in class one day while we're looking at the acting unit um, and see how you can feel about it. All right, the next person is Uta Hagen. Uta Hagen um, was a Tony award-winning actor she did not study Stanislavski or Strasberg. She kind of developed her own thing. And what she did is that you wanted to emphasize realism and truth among everything else. So she encouraged something called substitution or transference. So she got this idea that you take your own experience and emotional recollections for the circumstances of a scene. So for example, if you are in a scene where a character has just died and you're discussing the death of that character, you channel your own experience and you go back to a time in your life when someone you know has died or something like a pet has died and you try to channel the emotions that you felt in that and put them into your performance. All right, next one is Viola Spolin um, or Viola, Viola Spolin. She was more about improvisation than anything else. And so she like really touched in on theater games and improv and things like that. So most of her acting techniques were built out of improv. Um, and her son, Paul Seals, was one of the people who started Chicago Second City, which is kind of still around today. So Mostly, this is a technique that uh, comedy kind of builds off of. So some of the times, if you go to um, my freshman drama club meetings after school and we do some of the theater games, like we've played Kitty in the Corner and um, What's My Trade, those are Viola Spolin's theater games, um, but also improv games like you might see on Whose Line Is, is It Anyway is, are developed out of her technique. All right, so these are some of the theater games that we may be playing when we go into the acting unit. So there's explosion tag and slow motion tag and mirror. Um, and then we'll probably play a round of zip, zap, zap. All that is Viola Spolin's and what she brought to the theater and in her acting. Okay. I hope you got a little bit of information about each of these different techniques because we'll be talking about them a little bit more in the week ahead. And, and I'll be saying, well, this activity that we're doing, this is something that uh, is developed by Strasberg or by um, Uta Hagen, or here's the Meisner technique, and we're going to try that. All right. Thanks for listening.